What do you get when you mix an experienced firearms instructor and pro-gun radio host with a freelance writer who participated in one of the largest anti-gun rallies the nation has ever seen? The perfect combination for a trip to the range and a love at first shot experience. I'm Natalie Foster, and this is Love at First Shot, sponsored by Smith & Wesson. My name is Daria Bruno, and I do a pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment talk show in Providence, Rhode Island. It's called Lock, Stock, and Daria. And good morning, and welcome to Lock, Stock, and Daria, Stick to Your Guns Radio, all part of the Great American Gun Project. In addition to doing the radio show, I'm also an NRA instructor. I instruct everything from pistol to rifle to shotgun. Anything that has to do with firearms, I love to do that. I was asked by a very good friend to join her in the Million Mom March in Washington. I've just always thought that the gun culture is a little too powerful. And I'm always, as a freelance writer, I'm always looking for story ideas to pitch to magazines. So I thought a story idea that Red right Island Monthly would love is former Million Mom March participant interviewing somebody about guns and taking shooting lessons from them. Before I knew it, we were doing an interview and I was on the cover of Rhode Island Monthly Magazine if you tear out the first 21 pages. I was really expecting somebody to be very militant. didactic and militant and somebody who came across as just wouldn't even want to talk to me and she was fabulous. Thank you, I appreciate that and likewise, you're fabulous too. And we talked a lot about our different perspectives and why I feel the way I feel, why she feels the way she feels. Guns are never going to go away. They're always going to be a part of our society no matter what. And so you might as well teach people all the aspects that will keep people safe. That's important to me. I didn't know until we talked that Rhode Island has one of the best track records on strong gun legislation. If you live up in the New England area where the laws are so strict, all of a sudden you turn the corner, literally, and, and, you're, the border. and you're a felon. And it's tough. So, you know, she educated me, and I, and I like to think I'm bright and knowledgeable, but there's a lot I don't know. I think everybody has their revelation when, when you kind of round the corner and you realize that the world doesn't always share your opinions or think exactly like you do. When I look back at my younger days, everything was black or white. And the older I get, life is gray. I don't agree with you, but I still respect your right to have that opinion and that right to bear that arm. And you will respect my right to not ever buy a firearm. Absolutely, absolutely. This is still America. Right. We still can make choices like that. She still has her own mind, still has her own opinions, but she's open-minded enough to give it a try. And I think that's super. I'm very competitive with myself, and so I want to be good at what I do. You'll be great at it. Breaking clays is an addiction. Once she gets on a roll, she could probably break 10 in a row. No problem. Cool. Yeah. So we have no a bet problem. about that? You want to bet? Sure. Bet you lunch. take a class from me? OK. If I win, you buy me lunch. OK. If you win, I buy you lunch. No, you buy my class. OK. <laughs> We are at the beautiful Hartford Gun Club. I'm excited to meet you. I'm Julie. I'm Nancy. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Hi, Daria Bruno. Nice to meet you both. I think this is going to be a great day for you. We're going to be shooting trap. It's going to be a simple, easy kind of concept. She makes it sound easy, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. She makes it sound like, you know, just riding a bike. I understand there's a bet. There is a bet. There is a bet. I don't remember what the winning bet is or the losing I bet do. is, but either way, <laughs> either way, it's all going to be good. Now we're going to talk about the basics of shotgun shooting. I'm going to use Daria as my lovely demonstrator here. <laughs> One of the most important things that you can do is make sure that you have your shotgun seated into the pocket of your shoulder. And you notice Daria's vest here, she has a little bit of padding. Uh -huh. And that's going to allow you to have the most recoil control, because the gun's going to kick you back a little bit. Now, to stand, I like to stand a little bit more aggressively. I think the newer you are, the more aggressive you can stand. So, so an aggressive stance would be? Look at her knee position. Uh -huh. Look at how her shoulders are bent over her hips. And this is what's going to happen is the gun's going to recoil back, but she's going to absorb all of that energy with her body, so it's not going to knock her over. Right. That number four sign right there, right. they're going to basically pop out, and when you say the magic word, right. pull, it's going to send a clay out 
and that's when you shoot it. Okay. Okay. It's and it just sends one out at a time mm -hmm. every time you say the P word. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, that's right. A lot of times new shooters are a little apprehensive about how it's going to feel, so we're just going to have you point the firearm in a safe direction downrange, uh -huh. get you in that good stance, and have you pull the trigger. The uh, safety's off. Okay. So go ahead and place your finger on the trigger and give it a good squeeze. Simple. That was it? That was it. That was just a dry fire Right, shot. no, I got that. But so. I thought there'd be this recoil. No, uh, no, no, there's no there's ammunition. There's no ammunition. There's no ammunition, no ammunition. No ammunition. No ammunition. Yeah. in it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. But I right. wanted exactly. to get you comfortable with how the trigger's gonna feel and how to have that stance. Got it, cool. All right, you ready to shoot your first shot? I think so. Okay. Okay. Right, there you go. Okay. okay. Get it right on the cheek, okay? Uh-huh. All right. Okay. And now it's going to rock you a little yeah. bit. Right. You want to lean into yeah. it lean and into grip it. really good with right. this hand, okay? Right. With nice firm grip, okay? I'm going to turn the safety off. Okay. All right. Now and you I can, can go ahead and just trigger. place, take a shot into a safe direction. Jeez. <laughs> How'd it feel? Um, like a lot of kickback. Okay. Like a lot of firepower. Right. That's how it felt. Okay. Yeah. And are you feeling all right? Yeah, just completely unexpected. Yeah. So different than dry firing. It's completely yeah. different. But you can see where you can use the dry fire to help you get into the position. If we hadn't done that and you just pulled the trigger, exactly. it would have been, ugh. Exactly. But how do you feel? Uh, good. You want to try it again? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. Do you want to just take another shot just to feel for it? No, let's, why not? I mean, we have, one. We have clays. Yeah, why not? I love one. this. Right? That's, Absolutely. Just yes, all right. Jump right in, right? Head right. first. I right. love it. So the clay is going to come out from the house. Uh-huh. And you're just going to line up that bead and just squeeze it when you see it. Okay. Okay? So really look get in that target. good stance. Right. This has to go on the cheek. There you go. And okay. elbow, up. elbow up. Right. There we go. Safety's off. Okay. I can put my finger on. Yep. And you yell pull when you're ready. Pull. Oh, good job. You were just <laughs> under it. Really? Yes, just under it. Pull. Pull. So you want to move your barrel with it. So as soon as your target gets at the end of your barrel here, that's it touches it, hit. shoot. That's what right. But you have to move the gun. Pull. Oh, oh, yes. yes. oh my God. God. <laughs> that was a great job. Awesome. Excellent. Good work. Yay. Good See, addiction. now you know what it looks right. supposed to look like right. and how it's supposed to feel, right? right. right. You completely like dusted it. Adrenaline rush. It's so cool. Is it oh a my cool? God. You yeah. actually hit a moving target. I did. How's that? It's very awesome. Pull. There you go. Oh, oh my nice. God. Awesome. <laughs> okay. so we may not get to 10 in a row. <laughs> <laughs> what, have I hit what? Three or four? Abs yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I hit three. Yeah. I yeah. think so too. Awesome. That's great. Should we keep reloading? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough ammo for this woman. There, there you go. go. Awesome. There you yeah, go. You Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. I have an idea. Why don't we have Nancy, you stay here. Daria, you go over. We'll have a little friendly competition. <laughs> okay. Daria's going to take hers. Pull. Oh, dusted it. She's got one on you. No pressure. Just over it. She's a ringer. She's a she ringer. She's a ringer. She's That's been doing this for what? 65 years? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> All right, let's load you up. I think you need a little a little bit more harassment. Maybe get her off her game. Yeah, there. I think she needs to like Go ahead. give I'm me a great break. <laughs> Just behind it. Pull! Oh, yes. she's yes. one. We got one more. <laughs> Is it all on the line on this one? Could be. All right, you're good. Pull! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Nice. Good job, Daria, but I got one. <laughs> yes, you I did. I got Warren. one. This was so much fun. It was so addictive. And to be able to actually have that gun hit the clay target was like an OMG moment for me. <laughs> I really highly doubt that I will ever buy a gun. But going out to shoot clay targets again, absolutely. When I first met Daria, I didn't know what to expect. And she was this fabulous, trustworthy introduction to a world that I really never knew.
When you get to bring someone new to the range for the first time, it's like experiencing it all over again. So we've got an arrangement to, to have you guys shoot again. We're gonna yes, eat definitely. and shoot. Yeah. We'll do it. This has been so much fun. Thank you Thank for allowing you so me much. to be a oh part my God, of this you're experience. Awesome. And now I'm gonna, check out, you. I'm gonna check out your website. Oh, very good. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Life is not all black and white. Nancy and Daria are the perfect illustration that something as simple as breaking a clay target can be a catalyst for opening someone's mind about guns. You just have to be willing to open yourself up to new experiences and most importantly, listen to the people who look at the world a little differently than you do. What are some training tips that we can take away from this episode? For the experienced shooter, don't just explain, show. Take the time to talk new shooters through each shot and show them how it's done to help them gain confidence. And if you're the student, keep in mind that clay shooting isn't easy. After all, you're shooting at a four inch target that's flying through the sky. Each time you squeeze the trigger, you'll become more confident. Keep both eyes open and remember to keep the gun moving through your shot. As always, we wanna hear your stories from the range. Be sure to hashtag love at first shot when sharing photos or videos of your experience. We can't wait to see them. Next time on Love at First Shot. You probably expect a man to introduce a woman to shooting, not the other way around. Crystal breaks down stereotypes when she brings her kid's judo instructor, Roger, to do some precision shooting with Smith & Wesson and Thompson Center rifles.